Hello, it's Patrick and welcome back to another short video of the series uh, Language Learning Tips. So in today's video, I want to talk about the importance of learning a language a bit every single day. Um, so try to dedicate some time every day for learning languages, especially if you're taking on an entirely new one. Um, the key here is to study just a bit every single day. So instead of, let's say, um, studying four consecutive hours one day per week, um, try to study 30 minutes daily. It's a bit like planting seeds. Um, so if you water the seeds excessively once in a while, um, they'll end up getting soaked in water and decay eventually. On the other hand, if, um, if you water them just about right every day, they will sprout and start growing progressively. Um, same thing happens with uh, language learning. Our brain is not conceived to process a ton of information um, all at the same time without the notion of a spaced repetition system. Um, that's why it is highly recommended to be exposed to the language a bit every day um, so that the information given is repeated regularly, consistently, and in small intervals allowing the brain to get used to the information, which will end up getting stuck with time, um, with enough exposure, um, without overwhelming the brain with huge, extensive and tiring chunks of information all at once. Um, now, if you're the type of learner that can do like, let's say, um, two hours per day instead of only 30 minutes, um, well then, why not if you have the time, motivation and focus to do so? Um, however, in my case, it hasn't been more than um, 30 minutes to one hour tops per day of active learning. Um, what I mean by active learning? Um, well, it's um, simply learning with quality and focus, um, or better yet, without distractions of any sort. That is, um, you know, checking my phone every five minutes, um, getting lost in my thoughts and uh, becoming completely absorbed by the mind and so on. Um, in other words, um, <laughs> you should be completely um, engaged while actively learning a foreign language, um, all while managing your time efficiently. So uh, that's it with tip number two. I hope you found that one useful and until the next one. Peace.